Hey everybody, thanks for joining in. I'm Alexander and today I'm going to show you how to copy shapes from After Effects to Photoshop and I'm going to cover different situations starting from a simple shape all the way down to a more complex one like this one. Let's get to work. I have here a couple of shapes because I'm gonna cover different situations and let's start with a simple shape and we're gonna end up with a more complex one. So first of all let's select this custom shapes which is a shape drone with the pen tool. Toggle this down, go to contents, shape one, path one and then click on this path, not on the path one, on the path with the clock near it and then Ctrl C or edit copy, switch to Photoshop and then edit paste. And now we can paste this as a smart object, pixel, path, or shape layer. Let's choose shape layer and press OK. All right, so now we have the shape, but you can see that the color and the position, it's not the same as the one in After Effects. So we're gonna fix this in a minute. So for that, let's switch back to After Effects and first let's take care of the colors. Make sure you have the custom shape selected and then click on the fill, Ctrl C to copy the color and then switch back to Photoshop, double click on the shape on layer and paste the color. All right, so now let's take care of the position. For that, let's switch back to After Effects click on the shape layer and make sure you have the anchor point in the middle of the shape. For that take this, hold Ctrl and it will snap right in the middle of the shape or you can press Ctrl, Alt and Home and it will snap automatically. Alright, so now press P to get the position, take the first position on the X and press Ctrl C to copy the position then go to Photoshop Ctrl T to go in the resize mode and here on the X let's paste the new position back to After Effects and copy the position for the Y Ctrl C and in Photoshop Ctrl V on the Y alright but we can see that the shape is not exactly like this one. So let's fix this. So let's toggle this down with this arrow. Then go to contents, shape one. And on the transform shape one, we can see that the scale is 137. So we also have to change that. So take this, copy the exact value. Then Ctrl T again and here on the width paste the value and also on the height paste the value. Okay and also we can see that we have a bit of rotation. So take that, copy the value, Ctrl T again and here just copy the value. Okay so now it's exactly in the same position. All right, so this is for the first shape. Let's also take a look for a second shape, which is a bit different. So for the second shape, let's close the first one. Then let's go to the rounded rectangle, which is this shape. And let's take the anchor point again with the Y key, if you don't know, or you can select this pen behind. And let's also move this in the center of the shape. Press again Ctrl Alt Home. All right, now let's toggle this down. Go to Contents, Rectangle, and Rectangle Path. And we don't see the path with the clock as before. So for that, right click on this and convert to Bezier Path. So now we have the actual path. All right, let's click on this, edit, 
copy or control C, go back to Photoshop and paste this as a shape layer. Okay, and now let's take care of the position and the color. Let's go back to After Effects and here let's copy the position but make sure you are not copying the position from the rectangle close this but from the shape itself which is this one this transform toggle this down and let's copy the position for the x go back ctrl t and paste it here and now go back take the second one ctrl c and then let's paste this on the y axis all right now let's also take care of the rotation go back here we don't have any rotation but here on the rectangle itself we have a rotation of 54 degrees let's copy this and now paste this here all right let's close this go back at also let's take the color make sure you are on the on the shape tool and click here copy the color go back double click on the shape and paste the value all right so now let's take care of a more complex shape all right let's move on to the next shape go back to after effects let's close this down and here on this layer multiple shapes we can see that we have three shapes actually let's take this so first one is this rectangle the second shape is this dotted line actually and the third one is this shape with a hole in the middle so let's take care of the first shape First of all, let's toggle this down. Again, we don't have an actual pet, so right click on this, convert to Bezier pet. Let's now toggle this down, take the pet, copy this, go back to Photoshop and paste it as a shape layer. Okay, go back. Let's now take the position, but first of all, let's change the anchor point. So take the the pen behind tool and click on the multiple shapes layer to see the anchor point take this and we can't press ctrl alt and home as again as before sorry because now in this layer we have three shapes so the middle of these three shapes is here so we have to move this manually Take this, hold control and move it in the middle right here. Okay, and now press P, take the position, copy the first one, control T on this, paste it on the X. Now go back, take the second one and paste it on the Y. Okay, let's see if we have some rotation or some scale to it contents shape one transform so no rotation no scale but let's change the color let's take this blue copy and okay with this double click paste the value okay so now let's take care of the other two shapes so let's close this one and for the second shape we have uh, we have this dotted line but uh, you can copy this with the same principle as before and instead of a fill it has only a stroke and the line is actually dotted instead of uh, of a straight one so better take care of the shape tree which is a bit more complicated but why is this shape more complicated well if we toggle this down we can see that the shape is actually composed out of these two other shapes the custom shape 
which is this one and the circle which is this circle and it looks like a cut in this other shape so these two shapes are merged together uh, with a subtract mode so we have to copy the first uh, the first path uh, the first shape sorry and then the circle and I'm gonna fast forward this just so you guys don't get bored and I'll come back later copied these two shapes the custom one and the circle so now let's select both of these layers then go to layer combine shapes and subject so now we have only one shape with the circle inside of it and let's also apply a gradient overlay just so it has the same color so that's actually the final result that's how you copy shapes from after effects to photoshop if you found this video helpful please leave a like it would mean a lot to me and don't forget to keep your mind awake bye <laughs>